A brand new high school is being constructed in Shah Hanegev. From a distance, it appears as a regular school. Get closer and enter. It becomes apparent that this school is a mere five kilometers from the southern Gaza Strip. Then you realize that the decorative walls, the well-designed roofs, and the windows, which are made of steel, actually provide refuge from missile attacks. Over a thousand teenagers study in what are actually missile shelters. Over the past eight years, this school has been a target for Hamas missiles. Every now and again, the missiles actually make contact. It's sad that for the school children, this has become a reality. At any other location in the world, a school like that would have been evacuated. At best, classes would take place inside underground shelters. At Shah Hanegev, heads of communities decided to hold on to life, not just to survive, but to live right. We אנחנו חולמים על היום שבו אפשר יהיה להגיע לעזה והעזתים יבואו אלינו בתנאים אחרים לגמרי. עד אז אנחנו מצד אחד נשמור על הילדים שלנו כעל בבת עינינו, נחנך אותם להתנדב למען המדינה ולמען העם, אבל נייצר להם סביבה נחמדה, כיפית, מלהיבה, שמחברת אותנו גם אל ערכי הטבע החשובים, גם אל העבר ההיסטורי והחקלאי שלנו, וגם תיתן פרספקטיבה this is where Karen Kayemet Israel and friends of JNF in Australia come in. The members of the Australian community chose to support three environmental projects which contrast the concrete monstrosities that are necessary at the school. In doing so, they help us maintain three principles. To provide the school students at the Shah Hanegev Secondary School with a safe learning environment, to create school facilities that will promote the environmental orientation of the school, to strengthen the connection between the school students and their heritage. You are now in the center of the campus. You are in the center of the amphitheater. On the right side of my side, you can see the auditorium, which is also a church. On the right side, you can see the Humanity, the Technology and the Technology. This is the heart of the school. At this exact spot between the buildings, an amphitheater will be erected. It will contain 700 seats and an additional 300 standing positions. Here, students will gather for major events and ceremonies. The path from the entrance to the school to the center of the campus will pass through an archaeological garden. This garden will include, among other things, exhibits related to agriculture that took place here in the past. סיסמה או הכותרת שלו זה אדם וסביבה. הוא מייצג את עבודת הדורות, משך הדורות, איך הדורות איבדו כאן אדמה באזור הזה, איך הדורות שמרו על האזור הזה. Even the green incline, planned to be constructed alongside the archaeological garden, embodies the same school of thought. Rainwater flowing down the incline will drain into storage pits and will be used for watering the school's plants. These three projects prove that the area's leaders have the ability to look far into the future. Sefer Bereshit Omer, Leshomra u Leavda. Anachnu tzachim lishmor, anachnu tzachim laavod, bishvil radav shadavar zei shamer. Anachnu menasim liyatzer kan sviva yeruka. Anachnu menasim liyatzer kan mudaut meod amuka shel ha'iladim. Shaolam azeh nitan lanu lemishmeret, anachnu tzachim lishmor alav, anachnu tzachim laachzir oto ladorot abayim, naki, tov, echuti, musari. וכל זה בעזרתם האדיבה של החברים מקרן קיימת אוסטרליה, שלקחו על עצמם משימה ענקית, לא רק בשער הנגב, ולקחו על עצמם משימה ענקית בכל מדינת ישראל, לעזור לנו לשמור על המדינה הזאת כמדינה ירוקה, וכל הכבוד להם על זה.